Well, it's a very epic piece. It, it, it's like one of those big epic stories like Dr. Zhivago or War and Peace, or, you know, which, which ranges across a whole territory of warfare and in the middle of all that chaos, you follow the destiny of these four characters that are kind of obsessed with themselves and are thrown together and driven apart and you know, catapulted here and there by, by the vagaries of events of what's, of what's going on, of warfare and disruption. Of course, I knew the opera from, from my youth because uh, it's Verdi and because, uh, because I'm Italian. But I actually uh, never saw it perform for a, for, a, for a long time. I think that the first time that I saw it was uh, only about uh, 20 years ago. And for some reason, uh, is, uh, uh, is the only main Italian opera that I never conducted. And um, so it's been quite a, a journey of, uh, of discovery in a way, even if uh, of course, I know, I know the music, and I'm really uh, enjoying and uh, uh, rehearsing, and every day there is uh, something new. Well, we, we created this design which consists of, sort of three big panels that are locked together, but which can be shifted around to give all kinds of different spaces, so we're, we're never really saying we're in a particular space. We don't represent houses or streets or castles or, or, or whatever, but we've got these very dynamic, uh, abstract shapes that kind of create different spaces in which the action is being played out. What you believe in is up to you, but I think the audience might also be swept away in the same way that I'm swept away, that there's this sort of ecstasy that um, Verdi does such a great job of capturing. And um, I think the passion of the storyline, you know, it's very Spanish, and it's very um, life or death from, from the very first pages. And uh, so I hope people will be entertained. I hope they'll be moved. I hope they'll be drawn into our story. And I hope it'll be sort of a catharsis because it's a catharsis for me to sing it. <laughs>